tutorial. Today I'm going to show you how to do a loop stitch in crochet. This is a really cool looking pattern and also it's a lot easier to do than you would think. So let's go ahead and get started here. To start we need to make some chains and you can make any number of chains that you want to plus one. So for this tutorial I need to make six chains. One, two, three, four, five, six. Now for my first row, I want to slip stitch into the second chain from my hook. And remember, we never count the one that's on our hook. So one, two, so right there, I'm gonna make my first slip stitch. And I want to slip stitch into all the remaining chains, so I should end up with five slip stitches on this row. So this was one, here's number two. Three. Four. And five. Then chain one and turn our work. Now on this row we're going to start making loops and to do that we're going to insert our hook into the first stitch on the row. Then we're yarning over our finger, putting the hook under our finger to grab the yarn. And remember still keep the yarn on your finger because that's going to create your loop. Pull through the stitch yarn over again, pull through both loops on your hook to secure your loop. Then you can remove your finger. And see, there's your very first loop. So it's not as hard as you think it would be, is it? <laughs> so we're going to do that for all the remaining ones on this row, so that should give us five loops. So we're going to insert our hook into the next stitch, yarn over the finger, go under the finger to grab the yarn, Pull through the stitch, yarn over again, pull through both loops on your hook to secure. On to the next one, number three. Insert hook into the stitch. I've already yarned over my finger. Go under my finger to grab the yarn. Pull through the stitch, yarn over my hook again. Pull through both loops on my hook to secure. And we're on to number four. Insert my hook into the next stitch. Yarn over the finger. Go under the finger to grab the yarn. Pull through the stitch. Yarn over the hook again. Pull through both loops on your hook to secure. And here's our last one, number five. Insert into the stitch. Yarn over the finger. Go under the finger to grab the yarn, pull through the stitch, yarn over the hook, pull through both loops to secure, and then do one chain to finish the row off. Turn the work, and there's your first set of loops. See, that wasn't too bad. <laughs> now for this row, we're just going to slip stitch into every stitch, so we should have five. So here's one. Two, three, four, five, chain one, and turn the work. Now you're ready for your next row of loops. So all you gotta do is just keep repeating rows two and rows three until you reach your desired height. And when you get done, you should end up with something that looks like this. I hope this was a helpful tutorial, and if so, please subscribe to the channel for more nifty tutorials and patterns. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you next time.